Salutations, gentle viewers. This is George from Ireland. You'll see the house behind me. I'm on um, Frith Street in London, area known as Soho. And this is the building where John Logie Baird first demonstrated television. Uh, he had various scientists from the Royal Institution of Great Britain come to witness his new invention. Um, John Logie Baird came from Scotland, working in this house for two years, uh, when he finally managed to successfully transmit a television signal just a few meters within the same room then from one room to another it could go through a wall he proved that uh, it was nothing special he was showing but nevertheless he proved the principle it could work images could be broadcast a short distance so uh, he later managed to interest the BBC in this and then B BBC radio had been going since 1922 and in 1930 BBC began their first television transmissions very poor picture quality poor sound quality black and white of course, grainy images, the signal could only be sent a few miles. They broadcast it from Alexandra Palace, uh, which is a large entertainment venue on a hill a few miles north of here, Ali Pali as it's known. Um, so uh, that's where they broadcast from, just, just half an hour a day. They gradually build it up to about two hours a day and the signal could only be received in the London area. Um, by the time the Second World War came along, they suspended broadcasting for the war because there were other priorities, it took up so much resources. And then after the war, that's when BBC television really got going. So at first people thought, who bother watching television? I mean, come on, who wants to sit at home? Who want to listen to the radio, want to go to the theatre? Some people said this idea will never catch on, uh, that it was completely futile. Well, obviously they're very wrong. You may say that Logie Baird has a lot to answer for, um, because now we're glued to our screens. We find it addictive, we waste so much time, we turn into couch potatoes. But there we are. There's no doubting uh, that he was responsible for a very seminal technological breakthrough. It's not open to the public, I'm afraid. Um, John Logie Baird, he died in 1946 before television had really become widespread.